Now we will see how to work with variables in workflows. Really, variables are objects that in JBPM workflow are called process instance objects. For this, we will add a new task in the last example. Now we will show a variable from task node 1 to task node 2. In form element, we define a new task called outData. In this task, at input node, we will add data value number, which is the name of the get data task variable. Each time a workflow form is submitted by human input, the form variables are automatically created into a values map. Now in task node 2 we add a new task called outData and we will assign an actor with user OKM admin. We deploy the workflow Now we see a new workflow version. We execute a workflow. The workflow input demands we assign a number. In the next workflow task, we see the number assigned in the previous task. From workflow administration, we can see the workflow stopped in task node 2. And in this task node 2, two is showing the value from task node 1. We finish the task and now we can see the workflow is finished. All the objects stored during the wor workflow ejection all the objects stored during the workflow execution are in form element type. These objects are in a values map in a JBPM 
and with the additional parameter data, we can reuse it on other form elements.